keep you organized. Very important. That's the mission here. Is we have some help. Yeah, it's all about to-do lists. Have you yeah. started yours? So when, oh, I have a always have a to-do list. So <laughs> when it gets too long, though, it can be overwhelming, and that can lead to getting little or even nothing done. So here are some tips to be more productive in the new year. When it comes to being productive, lifestyle blogger Kelly Bransifor says it's important to know yourself. Personally, I'm really productive first thing in the morning, so I know if I'm going to get stuff done, I need to set an early alarm. And when you're tackling that to-do list, stay moving. When I get home from work, say I want to clean the house up a little bit, I just come home and I take care of it because I'm already in motion. If I say I'm going to just sit down for 10 minutes, then maybe I just end up sitting down for the rest of the day and I don't get anything done. Another way to boost productivity is by turning up the heat. Studies have shown that when you're working in a cold environment, people actually are less productive. So sometimes just turning the thermostat up a little bit or having a space heater in your office can make you be a little more productive. Also, turn off distractions like your cell phone. And there's actually this really cool app called Flippid. And what you can do is set a timer that actually is going to lock you out of your phone so that you can't access those apps and you're not going to be getting those notifications. A never-ending list can feel overwhelming. So Callie says toss it and instead schedule those items throughout the week. It spreads the to-do list out and makes it feel a lot more manageable to me. And then I know what tasks I'm getting done every single day. Also, batch similar tasks together. Clean by room, for example. You're focusing on getting one room clean, and then you can move on to another room. And don't forget to give yourself time to recharge. And some of this has to do with scheduling my week ahead of time and knowing what tasks I'm doing when. I can schedule off a night where I'm not doing any big tasks, and I can just give myself a chance to recharge and refresh. Feels good, huh? When you cross it this stuff off the list. That's what I'm saying. Like some people have it on their phone, but I like a legit pencil, you like to paper, see it. cross it off, and, and it's done. And that's one of the things that Callie says. She says, reflect every night on what you did accomplish. Even if you didn't accomplish all everything on your list, you still got stuff done. So you should feel good about it. I just get I them like in it. text message format. Ryan, you didn't get the bagels you were supposed to buy. <laughs> You're supposed to do this. Make a list. It'll the help you out. The honeydew list. I know. I'll have to work on Max, that. But thank you. Awesome You're stuff. So more organized already.